Like a minor theft might have turned into a major religious discovery. A missing artifact was found in the closet of a Tennessee motorhome. Volunteer TV's John Trainer talked with the owner of a rare painting who didn't know what he had. John? Yeah, and it makes you wonder what you might have in your house. In this case, it was an authentic 19th century painting of the Veil vale of Veronica. It's like a story ripped from a Hollywood screenplay. A small road in the mountains of Tennessee, a living room in a motorhome, and a 150-year-old painting blessed by Pope Leo XIII. This is the true face of Jesus Christ, one of a handful of paintings based on the cloth used to wipe Jesus' face before his crucifixion, known as the Veil vale of Veronica. Its owner, a 73-year-old man who didn't want to be identified, and had no idea what he had. <laughs> I've lived here for about 17 years. It's been in our, either in there or in my bedroom. Ever since. So how does a holy relic go from the holy city to Monroe County? Well, the man known as Frosty tells us he got it as a present and hung it on his wall 20 years ago. But three years later, it found a home in this cloth bank bag and was thrown in his closet until police say it was stolen by Kelly Gormley, who tried to sell it to this Madisonville church. The church told the sheriffs, the sheriffs made the arrest, and a piece of religious history was uncovered. You know, at first, uh, obviously, it was a, a big surprise for us uh, that something like this might even you know, be in, in East Tennessee, mm -hmm. normally you'd expect to find something like this in a museum or maybe in, in Rome, in the Vatican. The painting is now under lock and key in a secret location. Gormley is in prison for theft and Frosty is overwhelmed that a treasure was laying hidden in his home. You know, I know they really wanted it bad, but I said, no, nah, I don't think I'll be partnering with it. Now the church is now working with Rome to authenticate and appraise the painting. If it is real, it is invaluable to the church.